Disney suffering a big setback in its ongoing pursuit to expand its sports offerings, losing out on streaming rights to Cricket's popular Indian Premier League. The media giant was outbid by the Viacom 18 joint venture, partially owned by rival Paramount Global. For more on this, let's bring in Yahoo Finance's Josh Schaefer. And Josh, you know, my first thought was, how many people actually sit through a Cricket game? Obviously, it's huge in India. What are the implications for Disney? Yeah, so really what the implications are for Disney is we're going to talk about Disney Plus subscribers, right? That's where this always goes. But first, I want to hit the numbers mm -hmm. over a $6 billion deal total. So when we look at those numbers specifically, you can see on the screen now, Disney did get the linear TV deal over $3 billion. They didn't get the digital rights. So Disney Plus Hotstar is what it's called in India. They didn't get those digital rights, which were also $3 billion. So what we're wondering here, did they win or did they lose? $3 billion is a lot of money to spend, right? It's a lot of money to spend, but Disney had highlighted in their last earnings call, specifically Disney Plus Hotstar and specifically the Indian Premier League for driving Disney Plus Hotstar subscribers. Yeah. So now my question is, you're highlighting it as a positive, right? People are watching this, it's bringing in subscribers. When it came time to pay for it, you pretty much said it was too much money. Yeah. And now we're getting into that question with these streamers. Are we talking about subscribers or are we talking about spend? And I think that's going to be a big question when so, we come next quarter. So let's talk about subscribers. I mean, if, if that was seen as a big boost, right? how many subscribers do they lose? Or do they lose subscribers as a result? So they added 8 million subscribers last quarter globally. Over half of them were Indian subscribers to Disney Plus Hotstar. And they believe that a lot of that was because of the Indian Premier League. So... It depends, does someone fully unsubscribe, right? Were they just a fan of that league? If they were, then maybe it is 4 million subscribers. And that's gonna be a number that we know Wall Street's gonna to wanna to circle when we talk about the earnings. It's interesting how increasingly the conversation around streaming has become about around sports. And we've obviously talked about you know, Amazon, um, ESPN, obviously a big player there, but Apple scoring another big win here. Yeah, so Apple yesterday announced a partnership with MLS for $2.5 billion at a minimum, that's a 10-year deal, so $250 million annually. And really what the big thing here is, we all love soccer, MLS is big, they're getting further into sports. Mm. And what's coming down the line? Probably NFL Sunday ticket. And when NFL Sunday ticket comes, that's over $2 billion. So I talked to Dan Ives over at Wedbush Securities, he said this is the appetizer, the big meal's coming, they think they're already in the winner's circle for NFL Sunday ticket. And he thinks their, their content spend is going to double over the next year to probably closer to $12, $15 billion with a focus on live sports. The difference being, we know Apple TV loves the premium content, right? Those really good movies, Kodo, winning picture of the year. With sports, you can go more quantity. And yeah. he thinks that Apple's going to go the quantity route with sports and just grab as many meteorites as they can. It's still hard for me to wrap my head around Apple and the NFL, if that is really what's coming down the pipeline. You have to wonder how much longer uh, Netflix is gonna stay on the sidelines. They, they've kind of talked about F1 as potentially one because of the show and how that has brought in so many new fans. You know, where does Netflix fall? So they've been rumored with F1, right, which makes sense. I think that would, you'd have to think F1 would be first, and then where do you go from there? Because Netflix isn't known for live sports at all. They've resisted and it for so they, long. And they, in most recently, his last quarter, they were asked directly about it and said, that's not really how we do sports. We're not looking to do sports in that fashion. And now we're, we're talking about billions of dollars to spend to get into it, right? Does Netflix really want to spend a billion dollars to stream 15 NFL games like Amazon did? Probably not. That's not the kind of cash that Netflix is going to shell out when we're talking about sports media rights, it's an expensive business. Yeah, they've talked about being sports adjacent with the shows. Right. I mean, F1 kind of makes sense, but you have to wonder if they're going to face increasing shareholder pressure when you've got the biggest competitors at a time when they're eating into the mm -hmm. user base for Netflix, going after some of the biggest sports brands, right? Well, there's a new golf league that needs a streamer, Akiko. <laughs> Tie the two big sports stories <laughs> together. Go. There you go. All right, that's a suggestion for Netflix. Josh, thanks so much for bringing us that story.